Greetings, Bloodborne Guru here, with the best 10 tips for new gamers to Bloodborne. Hunter's Dream is a safe haven with no enemies. You're free to store items, tweak your character and weapons. You can level up at the doll once you have faced the first boss. And here you can also buy items from the Bath Messenger using your Echoes. Bloodborne gives you an opportunity to stun enemies and deal significant damage. With the right timing, shooting an enemy in motion can stun him and bring him to his knees. Knowing when to fire depends on the enemy, but the minuscule window of opportunity is usually when they're about to strike you. A stunned enemy will allow you to deal as many as six melee blows before they can fight back. If you're right next to your foe while he's on his knees, you can deal a massive visceral stab attack. Don't forget that you can sneak up on enemies by walking instead of running. This will allow you to get the first attack in and make for easier fights. Throw pebbles to distract enemies, which is a great strategy for separating creatures from a group and picking enemies off one at a time. You drop all your blood echoes, the game's currency, when you die. Both you and enemies can retrieve them. Should a monster pick them up first, search for a creature with glowing purple eyes. If you die again before getting to them, however, they are lost forever. Change your weapon from short to long form by pressing L1. The former allows for faster attacks, while the latter inflicts more damage. Press and hold R2 to charge up an attack. You will hit the targeted enemy with a charge attack that temporarily stuns the monster if landed from behind. You must completely charge this ability to pull it off, otherwise you will not stun the enemy. Whenever you take damage, you will have a short window to get some health back by quickly attacking your enemy. However, don't just spam attack, as the enemy will be sure to start his next attack sequence, which will take off even more of your health. Choose your starting class wisely. If you're not confident of dodging attacks, then pick the class with the most health, Lone Survivor. Or if you're feeling brave, choose the weakest class, Waste of Skin. When you see doors with red lanterns, you can speak to someone to potentially receive helpful tips, items, or a bonus objective in the game. And the number 10 tip to surviving Bloodborne is... Never give up. Yeah! Why? No, you're not quicker than the fucking awful hunters! Or whatever I am. Look out, Hunter! They don't want what we're selling. No, you're not quicker! No, you're not quicker! 